Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination E two bike platform rack for extra heavy electric bikes right here on our 2019 Honda Ridgeline. So the Hollywood Racks Destination E is actually a pretty impressive bike rack. We have a lot of weight capacity for those extra heavy bikes. So this has a weight capacity of 70 pounds per bike, which is very impressive. But also we have a lot of security features, which means your bikes are gonna be super secure to the bike rack and interesting tilt away feature too. So we'll talk about those features, but we are gonna focus on our ridge line here today. That way you can see how it works with the truck and what makes for a better fit for you, your different types of bikes and your vehicle. So let's talk about the tilt away feature first. There's gonna be a knob in the center of your rack. You're just gonna rotate that just enough where it's loose enough to push forward. Now your rack is ready to tilt away. The good thing is it holds itself in place until you are ready to tilt away. So just hold on to the rack and push it forward. You can use the truck to brace yourself and you can see here how we have almost a full tilt. So now you're gonna be able to open up your tailgate. So first let's try lowering it. And we can see here how even with it fully lowered, we definitely have clearance there, full access into our truck bed. Now, with this being a ridge line, let's try the other way. So let's move this out and we're gonna make contact right there. So just enough space for maybe one person to hop right in. Let's close this back up and lift the rack up as well. So you can hold on to the mast, that way you're not putting any pressure on your bikes. You then get lined up, push that knob back in. Very simple, even with heavier bikes on there. So there's gonna be multiple touch points with this bike rack. You have one, two, three wheel straps, but you also have this frame mount. So let's start with the straps since that's how we're gonna take the bike off. In the rear strap, we have a lever. You just press that lever and that releases the strap. Now the maximum tire width you can carry with this is gonna be up to 4.5 inch wide tires. That's why you have that extra long strap. You also have the rubber padding on the inside to help cushion the wheel while it's secured. So this here is our ramp. We're just gonna loosen it enough so that once we hook it into our bike rack, this should fit right into the cap and then it extends and now we have a ramp for our bike. So now let's take the frame mount off. So this is a lockable clamp. We have that lock core on the end, meaning once that's locked, you cannot turn this knob to loosen the bike rack. Now I'm just gonna turn this so that it releases the frame. And once it's out of the way, you can just push that so it clears the bike and then just bring it down our ramp, slowly but surely. So with the bike off, we get to take a closer look at the bike rack itself. So this has the unique wing design that the other destination racks have. You can see how there's that tab on the end for the ramp. One downside to this bike rack is there isn't a spot to keep the ramp on the rack. That's something that something like the Yakima on ramp does better. So you're just gonna have to remember to keep this into your cab and don't forget it when you take your bikes out. So the straps pivot back and forth to accommodate those different wheelbases. The maximum wheelbase you can carry with this is going to be up to 50 inches. And in the front, you have the front wheel cradle chocks. So you have two straps for that. I really like this because that really holds on to that front wheel, especially when it tilts away. Now, whenever you have anything in your hitch is gonna add some length to the back of your truck. So let's take a measurement to see exactly how much. Measuring from our bumper to the end of the rack, that sits at 32 inches. So that's a pretty good amount of length for a two bike platform rack. Definitely something to keep in mind when you have a really small garage, since you do have a little bit of a truck here. Now another measurement we'll take a look at is ground clearance. Since we do have that wing design, the end of the rack at the end of the wings is gonna be 20 and a quarter inches. 
taking another measurement at the center of the rack though, it's going to be 24 inches. So high enough where that ramp will be very helpful. Over here by the shank, it sits at only 16 inches. So we also have a bit of a shank rise. When you go up those steep inclines like those driveways or hills, most vehicles are concerned about that incline here with this truck. Not that big of an issue. It's more of how high are you going to lift up your bikes. Now, what if you're not planning on going out for a bike ride just yet, but you also don't want to take your bike rack off because it is kind of heavy. What you can do is you can fold this mass down and then fold the bike up into the portable position. So we have these straps holding these levers in place. So just pull those rubber straps out of the tabs and then you can push those levers out and then you can just slide that mass down. So you are going to have to get the best fit around your clamps. Once you have, just tighten those levers right back in. And then to fold the bike rack up, you're just going to have to take this clip out and then that will allow you to take this pin out. And then you can lift up on the rack until that hole lines up and then pop that pin right back in. With it folded up like this, let's take some more measurements. Closest point is going to be from the bumper to the mast. We have a clearance here of four inches. The length this now adds to the back of our vehicle is from the bumper to the shank 14 inches. It's a big difference compared to when this is folded down. You'll want it in this position when you're just planning on driving around town. Now, what is it like living with a bike rack behind you pretty much all the time if you want to keep it here? Well, notice that the mast sits above your tailgate, but not above where the opening of your window is, which means you will still have a full view through your rear view mirror. Now, what you won't have a full view through is going to be your backup camera. There is a bit of an opening on the back of your bike rack, so this is going to go right through there. You are going to have that obstruction though. So if that's going to be a major issue for you, I personally recommend just driving around with it in the down position. But with it in the up position, this does not cover your taillights on either side. It does cover your license plate though and your backup camera. So this has a two inch shank with an automatic hitch pin aligner. So that pops right in. You have that hitch pin and a lock on the end. Then you have this anti-rattle knob. So this is what you use to line up the hitch pin and then you turn this to tighten down on the hitch pin, creating that anti-rattle effect. So to demonstrate how that works, I'm gonna shake the bike rack back and forth. So you can see here, how even as I try to put all that effort into it, so just to simulate that road movement and vibration, the truck is moving at this point, showing that if you tighten things down properly, you'll have a smoother ride for your bikes. So my personal thoughts about the Hollywood Racks Destination E is it's definitely a heavy duty bike rack for those heavy duty bikes. If you have extra heavy electric bikes, this is gonna be a great option, especially with that full tilt away where it waits for you to be ready to tilt away Plus the ramp is very helpful. Again, I really wish the ramp was attached to the bike rack itself. Just remember not to forget it whenever you go out for a ride. If you don't need all that weight capacity, but you do like the design of this bike rack, another good option for you would be the Hollywood Racks Destination Bike Rack, not the E version. That one you can have up to four bikes on there giving you the stability of a platform rack without having to spend too much. I did mention the Yakima on ramp earlier too. That's another good option since the ramp is included on the bike rack and you won't forget it, but you don't have the same amount of weight capacity with that. So you have your different pros and you have your different cons. Hopefully this video showed you how everything works together with your truck and that way you can get the best fit for you. And that was a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination E2 Bike Platform Rack here on our 2019 Honda Ridgeline. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the Solemn. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners and evasive maneuvers. Then we get to the alternating speed bumps. We'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving on uneven pavement. Then we'll go over the full speed bumps. 
and we can see the up and down action. This will be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage, or a driveway.